everybody welcome back to my luxury indulgences i hope everybody is doing well i have missed you guys tremendously happy summer it is so hot here and so disgusting and so humid my hands are blown up <laughs> so ignore them anyway i just wanted to first before i get to this i have a new bag to um un unravel no to reveal <laughs> i have a new bag to reveal for you I don't want to unravel any bags. I just wanted to say thank you to people who have, one, left me a comment, a really nice comment, two, email me, and three, that messaged me saying they missed my videos, what did I purchase recently, and can I review things for them? I really do appreciate that. I know I just love our bag community here on YouTube, and it's really, we have such a special group of women and men that are fun and fabulous. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First, I want to say a couple things. I have some new small leather goods that I've never shown you that I will. And I want to reveal my bag. And I just wanted to ask if uh, a couple questions of you guys, and please answer them in the comments. First one is, is anybody else falling out of love with caviar? Um, I've been buying Chanel for probably like, I don't even want to say how many years, but a long, long time. And I have some older caviar pieces, and they really seem to be well-made and beautiful, but the new caviar has been really disappointing. This is my Caviar Maxi. It's a single flap, and um, if you could see how puffy it is, it's just beautiful. It's a really, really good caviar. And it's thick, it's puffy, it's, it's shiny, it's deep. The new caviar is grainy and crappy. So I went to Saks chanel in new york city and my sales associate got this beautiful blue jumbo for me and pre-sold it and i went there and i'm like yes i'll get it i'm going for lambskin now lambskin 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 but i saw this beauty on the shelf and even though she pre-sold the other bag i was like no way you gotta come in i saw this and i fell in love this is the new Trendy CC. It just came out for 2016. It first debuted in 2014. It is gorgeous. And it also has made me realize that I don't like caviar anymore. I love black lambskin. So this is the large Trendy CC. It is in black lambskin with gold hardware. It, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it um, next to the uh, Caviar Maxi, it's pretty large. It's a pretty large bag. It's very, very structured. It is a hand top carry bag. It has a lot of resemblance to an Hermes Kelly, which is a top handle bag and a shoulder bag as well. So it has beautiful features. Like I said, you got the beautiful, thick, plush black lambskin. You have the top handle that you can carry like a in the crook of your arm or a hand carry. You have the shoulder strap, because even if I like to carry something in the crook of my arm or hand carry, I need that shoulder strap to be hands-free. Uh, you have the beautiful CC, and that's what I love about the Chanel closure. It's gorgeous and functional all at once. It's a CC turn lock, so you undo that, you open it up, and this is what sold me on the bag. It is very hard for me to part with my money right now for luxury purchases. I cannot seem to buy anything without obsessing over it and loving it. What really sold me is I had recently got the Coco handle and it was a very thin caviar leather. And all you Coco handle lovers out there, I get it, it's a fabulous bag, but for me, it wasn't the quality that I was looking for. It wasn't leather lined. So when I saw this, this is 100% lined in leather. The inside is burgundy, sorry, burgundy leather. And I just noticed this. I didn't even notice this before. <laughs> It's just like the inside of a classic flap. It has two classic pockets for cell phones or whatever. And then it has the lipstick pocket that the classic flaps have. And that is one compartment. Then you get another compartment and they're both about the same size. This might be a little bit larger, your main compartment. And then this a little thinner. And then you get another one back here that has the zippered pocket so everything stays private and protected. This bag is going to hold a lot, it's gonna be functional, and it is fierce. It is stunning. 
I'm telling you, when you put this bag on, it makes a statement. It is not for anybody who is shy and does not want to be noticed. It has the Chanel plaque on the top. I need to take the plastic off. I like to keep the plastic on. I like to protect my babies. Um, it has the Chanel plaque, so you have to be a little bit of a label whore to like this bag. And then it also has the CCs. And what I love about it is the fact that if you turn it around, you can see that it has the back pocket just like a classic flap so you can put your phone in here or a little wallet anything that you like to use um, just to be quick and to be handy so i'm going to carry it like this and i can shoulder carry it it is stunning i mean this is such a beautiful bag i wanted it for two years and the reason why i didn't purchase it is because it was a little bit outside of my realm price wise but i figured why not why not go for something that you love rather than two other bags so for you know for two bags i got something that i love and i will have this is such a classic style somebody said it looked very grandmother and very old lady so i love grandmas and i love old ladies so i hope i can rock this with like long silver hair down to my ass so I love this bag. So thank you for watching. I'm going to do um, another review comparing this to the um, Maxi. It's a little bit, as, it's almost as wide, but it's a little taller. And I just got to say, I love lambskin now. I, if you look, I have recently purchased and I haven't used them, but these are my new lambskin small leather goods. And I do have some caviar but the caviar has to be a really good quality caviar for me to like it i just find the new caviar really um really grainy and not i don't know the quality isn't as nice so this feels luxury to me and to buy something that's a luxury purchase it has to enrich all of my senses i have to I have to get excited when I look at it and when I was looking at some caviar flaps I was just like eh. I feel that they're just like um, I don't know they're dull to me they're not exciting so this is fabulous I love it I'm very happy and when I come back I'll do some small leather goods for you guys something from Lou de Cambon in Paris and somebody asked me for um, oops what the hell is that um, Alhambra Van Cleef review I will do that but I just wanted to show this baby off and I'm so happy to have her I feel very privileged and really blessed and I just wanted to say I think my cat is sick um, <laughs> I have my husband helping film this so I can use both hands yay thumbs up I just want to say um, there's a lot of negativity in the world and a lot of sad things going on and a lot of horrible things and I just want to say I feel really blessed to have what I have and please let's keep this community such a nice community with good uplifting people and as long as you're not in debt and as long as you have your life in balance please indulge yourself and please do not judge how other people spend their money because it is well worth it to some to spend money on a Chanel bag so let's keep this a positive atmosphere and environment Thank you. Bye.